Alright. As you can see, no douche this time. No couch. Apparently, his presence is what brings about the existence of my couch. So I just came back from watching The Wolverine. Man, that's a movie. I do not mean that in the good way. I'm not gonna get into the previews because the previews were all stuff. I covered it in Pacific Rim. Nothing new. This movie was not good. Oh. This movie was not good. And I know people like to say that about the Wolverine movies and X Men movies. And how can you blame them? Origins was not good either. Although I. I'd have to say it was better than this. <coughs> <coughs> so this this movie is like okay, someone's gonna tell me that no no one comments on these. But at some point I'm gonna read saying that this was based off suppose it Japan arc storyline for Wolverine. I don't care the the way this movie was written. It was like bad fan fiction. Really, it was. It was like. <coughs> mm. And this is the director of the movie getting back at me, not allowing me to say bad things of his movie. <laughs> but yeah. This is weeaboo territory. Is that how you pronounce it? Weeaboo? I guess. It's like Japan. We must tell you, we must reassure you that this is Japan every chance we get. Here's an anime character in the background. Here's a pink arcade. Katana swords. Okay, katana swords. If you see the trailers, it's it plays a pretty big part. It's like the main thing they show in the trailer is like, Take my sword. And it's like, you are a ronin samurai without a master. Yeah, I'm not at all part of the story. The sword appears for like 30 seconds. Man. And I know what, and what people have told me is, Oh, it's a mindless action movie, you know, go in with that expectation, I mean, that's what you thought, but it's a terrible action movie, really, it is, I mean, in Pacific Rim, you could see, it was good direction, you could tell what was going on, this looks like before they shot the action, Hugh Jackman, like, picks up the camera, and he's like, I'm gonna roll this, Rolling, ha ha, cinema pun, and he rolls, he rolls the camera, and then they start filming. And he rolls it like a twenty-sided die, because it is messy. I can't tell what's going on half the time, and it even transitions, and there's too much going on. There's like this Japanese family drama going on which I which was a point I had to go to my friend Kenzo you may know him as the hot guy from skydive he was supposed to join me for this but he didn't come <coughs> I had to lean over to him multiple times and say we're still watching the Wolverine right I mean we're we're still watching a movie because it's just like Wolverine is not necessary for this movie. He's not. They had to. It looks like they had to edit stuff to force him in. It's Wolverine fan fiction that got turned into a movie. It's like, oh, he's a, he's a samurai now, but not really. And then, and then uh, there's 
and yeah, it's that's that's how you know what a bad movie is. Every movie has its saving point, in a way. I mean, Ghost Rider too. At least Ghost Rider looks cool. He looks gritty. He's not in clean leather. Prometheus was pretty. You had the big sweeping shots of the spaceship. But then you have this movie and your direction is bad. Your, your writing is bad. Characters are boring. You say you have good action, but I can't see any of it because your camera's pointed the wrong way half the time. There, and this, the girl you see in the trailer her name's Yukio. Yu-Gi-Oh! She has a trap card. No, she doesn't. It'd be cool if she had a trap card. She doesn't. She's not even in the movie for most of it. I mean, I sort of had an idea of the plot of the movie. is like a buddy cop movie between Wolverine and Yukio. The, mm, no. See, no, spoiler. She has a heart, like, she's adopted, sort of, and her grandfather, and like, the one that's actually in the family, her so-called half-sister, she's hot, looks really hot. That's the good point of this movie, that's her. Her name is... Tao Okamoto. And I'll get, I'll get to her in a bit. But so like, first Wolverine's like traveling with Yukio, and he's like, yeah, no, and she's, she's like, I'm your host in Japan, blah 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 blah. And he he immediately sees Tao Okamoto's character Mariko, I think that's her name, and he's, and he's just like, well, if she's hot, bye. <coughs> and then the entire movie, Yukio just disappears for the entire second act of the movie. And yeah, and. And like the second act of the movie is about Wolverine losing his, not for you, uh, losing his healing factor. Does he though? It gets reduced. I mean, he still gets shot and is walking. He still doesn't have scars on his arms from when he used his claws. Now even then. So he gets his healing factor back and at the beginning of the third act. And I don't see why they have these prolonged fight scenes where he's being where like people are like they somehow overpower him and stab him and stuff. What's the point? You show it once, just show the healing factor effect once. And he's a badass again. He's he does not give a shit. I was like, oh, you stabbed me, that's cute. I don't care. <clears throat> um, villain in the movie, very predictable. If you've seen Prometheus, heads up. Um, Tao Okamoto, yeah, she's pretty. She's very pretty. Not pretty in the like. Well, she is a model, but if you see like her model shoots, they're not so nice. But she herself is, she's like, she's girl next door pretty. Which is really funny because her character is not girl next door, but... Let's go into spoilers a bit. But uh, Jean Grey makes a reappearance as like this ghost haunting Wolverine. And that's really... If anything, if there was a plot, to drag away from this drag the plot away this, this dragged you away from the plot because like really the story is about Mariko it's pardon me I sound like a character from Supernatural <clears throat> the gas um so so this the real story is about them it's like like I said, it's a Japanese family drama. Not family as in it's friend. No. Um, it's family. It's about family. Seriously. 
And then Wolverine's just this white guy who fucks it up. And then and then they just awkwardly cut to these Jean Grey flashbacks and and he's and she's like, Logan, I want to love you and he's like, No, you're dead, it's necrophilia. And she's like, Well, yeah, I'm dead, but guess who killed me? And he's like, Oh, I hate I hate you, Jean. She's like, Yeah, you do. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I mean, I'm seriously sick. Um, it's really all there is to this movie. There's there's not even much to talk about. That's it's just boring most of the time. Really, I'm just waiting for the next scene where where Mariko comes in because the. For some reason, like she gets really good treatment by everyone. Even when she's kidnapped, they like they do her makeup and stuff. So she comes. She was always fresh looking. Like she always looks like she just took a shower and, and yeah. Man. And yes, the ending leads into Days of Future Past. And. If you really want to watch that, I think by now we're all sick of this secret. And well, no, I have been told that I hate fun, so it could just be me. But I am tired of the secret ending thing. So you know, I only watched this once because fuck it, we had to. You know, it's nerd instinct by now, and that's. If you if you just want to watch it for the secret ending, come late for the movie. Really, the the movie will make just as much sense. It might even make more sense if you came in late for the movie. Because man, this is not a good movie. This is, oh, I don't know, guys. Sure, I had more to say about this, but the moment we we jumped topic to Mark, I was like, "Yeah, it's my only good thing to say." No, well, why not? The bad guy looks cool for about five minutes. Don't want to go into the ending. I didn't even bingo list this movie because I've avoided it for so long. What the hell, man? No. So that was my opinion. I have a Tumblr, I have a Twitter. Please tell me how I hate fun. I apparently don't know what an action movie is. And how my voice sucks. No, excuse me. Gotta go summon Cass. So, we just watched The Wolverine. We're gonna get some opinions on this. Gentlemen. You? Woman, Japanese woman wants my dick. <laughs> Colonialism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Professor X, man. Make it show. <laughs> yeah.